Hi Cancer, welcome to your Y reading for September 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to Deku Taro. Much love and support to her. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love and support as well. This is intended to be a romantic love reading but may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, and we have the Hierophant that popped out. All right, that could be Taurus. Um, could be just your questioning your commitment or choice in someone. Perhaps you've met someone that you feel like is just a real fit. Could also be that whatever you're going through right now is requiring you to have faith that you don't know all the answers yet, that um, whatever you're doing will reveal, the end result will reveal itself in time, obviously, but, but you don't quite know what you're going through, so you're just kind of going through, uh, or I'm sorry, what you're moving through, so you're, it's asking you to have faith and all will be answered and revealed in time. All right, Cancerian. Okay, Cancerian. Why? There's that having faith. <laughs> There's an angel, for goodness sakes. <laughs> we had the Pope earlier. Really. Uh, this is having faith, needing to heal, restore balance, get some distance and perspective, slowing down a bit. So we get lovers, justice, okay, this is kind of major, the empress, emperor, so this could be Aries or Taurus, this could be Aries or Taurus, this could be Libra, this could be Gemini, Taurus or Libra, Sagittarius, six of cups, Two of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Okay, so we've got someone that has probably come back and said they're sorry or is interested in a relationship with you, um, but you're not. You could be dealing also with a Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, it looks like they're, you have turned them away. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So someone's not, someone either is just wanting to stay friends or what well, could be you. Either you've made an offer that someone else would re rather just stay friends or they're just let you down very um, compassionately and said, you know, I just, I don't think I want this right now. I'm not ready for this or vice versa. You're just not ready for whatever reason. You got someone coming in here that's not, um, you're just not wanting to go there or they aren't. What's this lovers about? Five of Pentacles. There it is, the disconnect, <laughs> the disconnection. What's this justice card about? Let's see. This justice card. Chariot. What's this Empress about? What's this Empress about for Cancerian? The Magician. Hmm. What's this Emperor about? Wow. So we got Empress and Emperor. This is someone that, and the lovers, I mean, Good gracious. This is someone that really uh, sees their fit with you, that sees that you're someone they're supposed to be with. And it's, well, it's the, it's not ideal, obviously, that there is not, at this time, that you're turning this offer away or that you're not on board with it. What's this emperor about? Nine of wands. So we got the nine of wands and the five of pentacles, why? So this is someone that is either still pursuing you or is hanging on because they want this to work. And so what, you're supposed to have faith? Wait a minute. It's just two of pentacles here. 
There's two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. This is Six of Cups. This is Six of Cups here. So that's not necessarily good because both of these are sixes, but this is. Oh, yeah, this is someone that's not going to give up easily, are they? Oof. This is Page of Swords. You might have to go no contact with this Page of Swords. Oh, yeesh. So is this someone that's just really intent on getting in there and coming back and working this out? We're going to dumb and Louise this over the cliff if I have to, but we're doing this, and I don't mean that ominously. Uh, I'm putting on your chat stick here, ha huh? Sorry. I meant that in a way that was like they're just not taking no for an answer right now. They're not getting it because they feel like they broke it so they can fix it. And this is someone that really feels like you belong with me. I belong with you. Um, and we just got to figure it out together. But that's apparently not the case for you. Um, and here she comes. Okay, there she goes. So is this that someone was that someone's going back to their old ways, even though coming in like gangbusters saying, hey, we can figure this out? Um, or is it the reverse? The, sorry, the reverse could be here also, is that they feel like you're the one that's coming in like gangbusters and, you know, saying that we can figure this out, but that you're just going to go back to your old ways of um, quite possibly cheating just keeping something always on the side. So some, I'm going to put it this way, somebody and somebody, there we go. But, um, either they're, I don't think this is that they think they, they feel like, okay, it's just as well that this person is going on. I don't think that, that's it at all. I think that they, dare I say this could have been about control, but on the positive note, this could have been somebody that just, they messed up and they want it to be seen as that and they want to uh, make things right. On the downside, this could have been a very codependent relationship and a lot of control issues were involved. And we see that here at the devil. So this, it could be that, um, this is someone feeling like the right thing to do, that it's that we belong together and it's not gonna take no for an answer. Kind of creepy. The other way could be that this is someone that's just being really pompous about it. I was like, well, good riddance, but I don't think so. I think this is someone that really wants to um, get back in there. And Somebody just never really stopped some behavior that was not very good for the relationship. There's something about not being able to resolve issues from their past, particularly from maybe some childhood issues that was not healthy for the relationship. Like it, their, their issues from the past um, bled over, wow, we got a lot of going on here, bled over into the relationship. It could also be that someone wants to move back home in light of this, um, in light of the relationship falling apart and having nowhere to go. So this, this is, this is, you, somebody needs to be cut off or cut off at the past. There needs to be minimized interaction with this person because either they're feeling like they don't want to take no for an answer and they want to get back in there and fix this. And it's just, this is happening. Like this is someone really wanting to assert their will because Look, I said I was sorry. Yeah, like it just it just crossed a line. It's starting starting to cross a line here. Um, and this is just someone that is really intense and forceful. The other side of this could be someone feeling like you're the one that's really controlling. Again, I said it was reversed earlier. It could be reversed earlier. But there's still it's like this codependent dance. It's like this um I don't know, it's like there's this power struggle and on the one hand it, it's coming through like you two can't or you can't get far enough away from this person with them in hot pursuit and then on the other hand it's they 
it's it's almost like they feel like okay i'm gonna keep pursuing you but you better come around to the way i see things do you know what i mean like it's kind of it's kind of surreal because it's like are you serious like i have given you nothing to go on and yet you're still showing up and you're still trying to you're trying to do that with me like <laughs> I don't know, I did this and, and the, ah. We, I, it, it almost feels like they've got the upper hand, so they're gonna be in pursuit, but the minute you flip the script or the minute you assert some kind of self-protective just pulling back, they don't like that either. So it's like they're as long as they think that you're kind of indecisive, it's okay. But if you put if you, if you make a stand, they're not okay with that, and that's when they become even. That's what it is. That's when this person becomes more intense. Like if you if you're indecisive and you just don't basically if you're passive and don't put up a, a don't put up a fight, it's okay, it's acceptable, it's not an affront. But if you if you take a stand and you say no means no, back off, then they're all of a sudden they come on even stronger. The hell is that? I mean, that's that's like, are they are they thinking red is green and green is red? I mean, is this person colorblind? They don't see that red means stop, that that no means no. Okay, I hope I'm wrong. Okay, because I'm this. This is taking a turn. And I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. What's this emperor about? What's this emperor about? We got two nines here in the emperor. Mm. Somebody here had, and yet, and yet it was like, it's like you two are feeding on each other. It's like control issues. Like there's this codependency and then there was like somebody bearing down on someone else and then someone playing the game because that's how you manage the one that was bearing down. And then they were wise to that and they got back on top. It was like this constant vying for position and they, it's almost like they feel like they, they're tolerating your um, sort of passivity or you're evading them. They're kind of tolerating it because for some reason they feel back in control, but the, it, it feels like the minute you get some distance or get the upper hand, that this is somebody that they don't like that. That's not allowed. There's, there's just like unhealthy issues of control here and dominance and aggression and assertiveness, or not even assertiveness, let's call it what it is, aggressiveness. <sighs> And it, it this this is somebody who probably cheats cancer and now that they've been exposed that's why they're not going to take no for an answer because it's about you have to let me make this up to you they have to let me make this right because if they discard you if they if they push you out if they don't want anything to do with you anymore that's different but if you are able to say no you've done this and this which is wrong and everybody around me thinks so even your you know, parents and friends and whatever would be like, okay, that's wrong. You cheated on this person. Um, then that's an issue. Like they can't handle being found out of favor. So if they just are done with you, okay. But if you are able to find some reason to be done with them and people would judge them for it, that's not okay. That's, that's the thing here is that I, I think that you've realized or found out that there was cheating involved and they don't like you judging them or sitting in judgment when other people could also be in judgment of them. And so this is somebody who's pride. This is about pride. This is about somebody who doesn't like being found out of favor and won't take no for an answer because they need you to see them differently so that they can, if it's going to end, they don't want it to end like this. Do you know what I mean? So this isn't really about them getting back together with you. This is someone that wants, that feels like, they deserve a second chance or feels like you should be on board with how they have done things and that it's not that big of a deal that you're overreacting 
it's almost like they're telling themselves this story so that they can still make it okay. If they, if they can still make your absence okay. They can still make you leaving okay. This is someone that has to make it okay in their mind because they can't, there is, I, I feel like it's the reality of it is just not okay with them. They need the reality to be different and they need you to see them differently. And they need to be able to change your mind about what you have found out, if that makes sense. They don't like you not seeing them in a positive light. And, and I think the reason why they're pursuing you is because they feel like you have the upper hand and they don't like it. So on the one hand, they told themselves this story like, okay, I'm just going to have to be patient for so-and-so. Oh, they're on their thing again. They're, they're dealing with past issues. Got to be patient, whatever. But if they really looked at the reality of it, which is you're kind of done and you don't plan on returning and you don't, you know, you tell yourself whatever you need to, but at the end of the day, I'm doing me and I'm doing me over here separate from you. If that hits home or if they were to accept that, they can't. So this is someone that's really intent on being able to have their final say because this relationship worked for them. Why? Because they got to do some unhealthy crap over and over and over again. And you put up with it until you didn't. And they don't like that because it wasn't, yeah, okay. Hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, they're lovely. Thank you. Okay. She brought down another pair of, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this, if it was their idea, then it'd be different. But they don't like being judged against what they've always done. They don't like that it's taken its toll and now you're wanting to go. Because um, there's, a, there's a past and a history here. And you worked really well for this person until you've had enough. But since it wasn't their decision that you left, they can't abide this. It needs to be their discard. They're, they're getting rid of you. They don't like that you left them. And furthermore, God forbid what you might say about them or what you think of them or, you know, what, what everybody else is going to find out about them that they did that, you know, they're not going to look like a nice person or something. But this is, this is all of a sudden, whatever was okay before, whatever you put up with before, you're not now. And that's the difference. And that's why they're like, this is huge for both of you because you finally put your foot down and they're having to deal with some ego wounds from the past, or there's some major stuff going on here <laughs> that you're, you two were good together until you weren't. Um, but this is a relationship where you both showed up to teach each other lessons. Honest, I mean, look at this. My God. The devil, emperor, empress, like all these major arcana. And then... Uh, yeah, so this is... I mean, I'm glad you're done with it because it didn't look like it was very good for you. It looked like you were just having to put up with somebody that was not very... Uh, well, just didn't have your best interest, put it that way. That was not connected to you in that sense. Didn't have your best interest at heart, but... I feel like they're coming in hot and they're not taking no for an answer and they need to, or they're going to see the wrong side of your crab claw. <laughs> um, and it might, you might very well have to do that, you know, like get, we got justice and the emperor here, get literally, this could be like a restraining order. I mean, if you're looking at it legally, the legal system so that you can have some peace and quiet. Um, I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope this isn't about, you know, the physical side of things going wrong. Um, but this is someone that's having a really hard time with you leaving because of what that means about them. Because if you stay away, if you stay gone, then where's, where are they going to get all their needs met from? Who's going to do stuff for them? Who's going to take care of them basically like you did? And everything was going great until they did whatever one too many times. And then you're like enough and out you go. And they all of a sudden are like, Okay, come on, Bell. Come on, we can work this out. And you're like, no, no, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. And this is them trying to figure out a way what will work. And just be careful that they don't pull out all the stops. Like they, hey, you know, I found your, your, 
your dog's collar from the first time we had to, I didn't know if you want, I know you, you scrapbook, so if you want it, let me know. It has nothing to do with the dang dog's collar or whoever, whatever. This is just finding some way to hook you back in to, to, to get you to, you know, here's the, can, can you come in and can we talk for a minute? No. And in fact, I don't really want the dog collar. You know, I mean, it's like, just be careful that they're not going to try and do something to get you to respond to them because this is like, this is just someone that's really intent on wanting to get things back to the way it was. And I've been talking about this way too long. Um, and it just, they are going to, the thing is, is that there's no, you leaving has kind of derailed any kind of growth that was happening. And when I say growth, I just mean things being fine for them, preserving the way of life. So without you, they're going to kind of devolve. They might've even moved back home. Um, but this is someone that needs other to take care of them. They're, they're not doing very well without other, in this case, you. So they really are going to be in need and the intensity might ratchet up because of that. So I just, I, and I think this is all about you not, um, not being accessible. I think that's why the page showed up and why this world showed up because this is about minimizing or even having no contact because things are ending, things have ended and you're, you're well on your way, they are not. That doesn't have to be your issue anymore and I, I think they're not used to that yet. They haven't quite gotten the message yet. They will, but it's, this is, I don't like it. I just, and the thing, it, it, it'd be one thing if they're remorseful, but it doesn't seem like they are. It just seems like they're intent on getting their toys back or getting things back the way it was. There's no awareness of what's transpired, only a need to have it be the way it once was. But there's no awareness as to why it came up, led to this. What else for Cancerian? What else for Cancerian? This could be male or female. It's not saying, you know, message. They're not getting the message. They need to. This is someone that... Part of it is, for me, it feels like they don't... There's no... Um, they're not willing to sit quietly. And there's no growth here happening because they're not hearing anything. They're not getting the message. They're not understanding what the heck happened. They're, but... And I think, was it in the beginning that that... Um, that hair fan showed up. Man, you and Scorpio never disappoint. <laughs> you Pisces and Scorpio never disappoint. Um, that whole blind faith thing, that whole um, moving forward with faith, not knowing what's going to happen, where it's going to go, where it's going to lead, probably because uh, of this situation. You're like, anything's better than here. I don't care where I'm going to be in six months, but it's not going to be here. And I'm going to take steps to ensure that I'm going to be going, working towards something. I don't know how this is where I'm going to be, but I got blind faith that so that's your confirmation that whatever you're doing is the right thing. Whatever you're doing not connected to this person is the right thing. Moving away from them, moving towards your new future, do it. Keep going. Have faith. It's going to be fine. Um, there also could be some things that you're going to find out about, find more out about this person. It could be that you found this, uh, you know, this sort of cheating or whatnot um, originally, but there's going to be more that you're going to find out about, which is going to solidify, you know, good riddance basically. And it could be that that's what they're trying to stave off is you finding things out. Um, we got the page of swords and message here. And perhaps it is about putting things, you know, documenting somehow that you have given them the final, you know, this is all I'm going to say about this, but if you haven't gotten the message, let this stand as such now goodbye and no or whatever but and it could be that you only can need to communicate with them through one singular message and then that's it no more anything no more involving your engaging in any way with this person because it looks like there needs to be a disconnect and they might be plenty sad about that and but really it's just about damage control it's about them wanting to figure out how to reverse your decision not about any kind of awareness there's no awareness or depth as far as like what has gone on here. It's just wanting to preserve because they're starting to devolve and kind of crumble and fall apart. They're not doing well. And I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about somebody that just 
bro i'm not talking about the people that broke up with each other and they're kind of sad and this and that this is like this is kind of creeper mock 10 level and if cross watchers it's probably not talking good chance i'm not talking about you but this is someone that just wants to get back in there that doesn't like how uncomfortable they feel right now but beyond that it really doesn't feel like for the cancers that i'm reading for there's any other awareness to it than that and you are moving away so you know good but things are as they should be as far as you two being apart the other person does not see it that way Right. What else for Cancerian? Because good gracious, is it, why why do these always go so long? Why do I and it's swimming around in there? Cancerian. Cancerian. Maybe it's because it's not like oh yeah, you two are great. It's like well, there's a lot going on here. Cancerian. Uh -huh. We got the Empress again. Could be codependent. Could be also sending you the message that you need to focus on yourself thriving whatever you're doing keep going this could be male or female but whatever you are doing keep doing because it's where you're finding your way back to yourself this has been a major issue for both of you they benefited from it you did not it took its toll now that you're gone it's starting to take its toll on them and that's the pain and the shame they're feeling is your absence not necessarily that they've done a horrible thing to make you go away so just know that and please focus on yourself and self-care and do what makes you feel safe and proud and, and like getting out of bed in the morning. It's baby steps, honestly. It's profound baby steps, but it's baby steps. What else for cancer? That's for cancer. Oh my gosh, I want to have I mean, I don't mind. I just, I feel bad because everybody's probably like, click, click, try, just get to the meat of it, right? Okay. Ooh. Again, with the five of pentacles and the moon reversed. Okay, so this is, I don't like it. Complete and total absence of connection based on, um, just not being able to abide the connection anymore and it has led to you starting to come out of a fog the only way to come out of this fog is to stay disconnected so if you're waffling which i don't think you are but if you, there's nothing that is for you with this connection with this person they there's just your time with them should be done you two don't have anything to offer anymore that would be healthy for either of you so this is about you starting to come out of the fog and starting to have forward movement based on a disconnection that you have made. So if there is, if you're feeling at a loss, that remember that hierophant and just know, you know, you're reestablishing balance and order in your life. You're healing, you're coming back online and you're focusing on you. And this is what's, I mean, you got the priest, the priest, the hierophant and the um, empress as far as moving forward and that is all about you coming into your own and thriving so whatever you've been through is behind you and you're not afraid anymore not like before so you just keep walking forward and this will take care of itself but you keep your eyes forward you do not look back you do not contact you do not re-engage keep moving forward all right I thank you for stopping by and I, I really, you know, I <laughs> kind of got a little dramatic there. I didn't mean to, but I, perhaps you really need to hear this message. Honestly, maybe some of you are starting to doubt or think you're a horrible person. Don't. There's much worse out there. There's much better out there. You're, it's, you have to take care of yourself. That's your number one job. So you keep going. You are all you should worry about right now, please. All right. Shutting up. Why not? 30 minutes. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. And I wish you peace and calm and forward movement. You just keep going. All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.